Hey guys, I'm back. I am doing a Friday night date night makeup tutorial. My husband wanted to go out to dinner. I worked all day, um, was busy glamming a big wedding earlier and um, was feeling kind of frumpy and he wanted to go get some sushi, which I was all about. So I decided to glam up and put some effort in. It's so important to date your spouse. And so I wanted to glam up and kind of get ready to go out for a date night. Sometimes it's easy to be like, oh, I wanted to stay home, I'm tired. But I wanted to get myself together and play with some makeup because I feel like for me, that's when I can kind of escape to and just kind of shut the world out and just play. So I always enjoy when I get to do that. But it's fun, it's fun to play. There's no rules with makeup. I had no agenda or really idea what I was gonna do tonight, but I just kind of sat down and let my makeup speak to me, if you will, and just kind of winged it. God, it's so cheesy, cheesy. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let's get started. Mid-afternoon caffeine is seriously the best ever. On the monitor, like, it literally looks like it's almost the size of my head. I mean, it's really not, but it, it kind of looks like it. So this last week, I actually was super excited because I had a chance to go out to Ulta and Sephora, um, go do some shopping and get some new stuff. So I'm going to kind of incorporate some of that stuff into my makeup look tonight. I got these new hydrating booster drops from elf so let's just put a couple all right so i am going to use the again i love this stuff it's the l'oreal infallible 24 hour um foundation i wear the shade 420 get this on my palette a couple squirts and get my beauty blender oh you know what i didn't put primer on hello i'm gonna use the benefit professional primer today just to kind of blur some of my pores fill them in a little bit i'm gonna kind of like press and rub this in Squish it right into those pores. No one wants to see those guys. And we are just gonna get this foundation going here. My skin has been, oh, kinda cruddy the last few days. So this week I took some extra time and I gave all my brushes a really good cleaning and like disinfected all my beauty blenders and oh my gosh it just like makes me so happy when I've got everything like super clean and just it's so important to do that because there's so much bacteria I mean even when it's just your own and you're using them on yourself all the time and that's it it's just it's ridiculous how that stuff accumulates so if you feel like your skin is looking kind of crappy and then you're not cleaning your brushes go clean your brushes because <laughs> it's amazing how much dirt and bacteria gets in there and then you're putting it all back on your face every day and I always bring this down my neck oh, I love how this foundation just it sets down so nice it's like velvety and almost fully matte it's got a little bit of a sheen to it but my it's it dries down really great so i just um went and got a brand new tarte shape tape so i will be using that for my concealer today all right up in there i'm actually gonna bring it up on my eyelids too and use that as my shadow primer Hello. Okay, and then I'm gonna set my eyelids really fast with just a really light layer of powder just to make sure that it sets so when I go in with my shadows, it's not gonna be as tacky. Um, not that I don't like that, but with concealer, I don't want it to crease on me, so a lot of times I use the Soft Ochre MAC paint pot, but um, 
when I use concealer, I always like to set my eye typically so that I won't risk any creasing. And for my powder, I'm using the Loose Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And my shade that I have is shade number 10 in Fair Light. I'm going to come in and I do want to do a nice light layer of powder before I put bake on. So now what I want to do is contour and I am going to use Kat Von D's shade and light. Um, I got her um, smaller single ones from her main big palette where you can get kind of the three individualized and I got Lucid and Somber. So these are more the lighter ones. I'm going to use the Morphe M405 brush and I'm going to use this to contour my cheeks. Oh yeah, that went on like a dream. I might contour my nose with different things. Sometimes I use really small little blender brushes. Today I'm not really... I'm just going very light-handed with a very little bit of product and just lightly grazing down the sides and then I kind of curve it under the tip just to give it a little definition. Now for some bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. All right, let's go in. I'm going to dive right in here. And I just kind of go right a little bit over that contour and then I always just press it right up around my face. Smush it right in there. I'm going to kind of go in more like circular motions. Almost, well, sort of. I don't really know how to describe them. I, I mean, I go up and down, but I kind of rotate my brush to get that really nice warmth kind of all over my cheek. And I feel like that also kind of helps diffuse contour, depending on if you get a little heavy handed, you can kind of buff it out. So I recently got this palette from BH Cosmetics. It's called Blushing in Bali. You guys, it's a six color blush and highlight palette. You guys, it's really, really pretty. I mean, the colors, are stunning. I love that you get kind of a pale pink and then into more peaches and even like this berry, more mauve-y, um, deeper shade of pink if you want some more depth to your blush. And then you get these three gorgeous highlighters at the bottom. Like, it's really nice. I'm actually really impressed with this palette. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, the Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush, JH04, and I'm gonna use this for my blush. I'm going to just kind of mix I think the first two together. I'm always kind of a mixer when it comes to blush. I feel like I hardly ever um, use just one shade. I'm always mixing. I just like to put a little on my chin. Okay, so now that I have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and do some baking. Um, I'm going to bake with two different powders. I saw this recently on um, one of Jaclyn Hill's videos. She recommended the Lavender Fenty Beauty powder, um, especially under the eyes, because she said it just is really, really pretty and soft and really just helps um, give that brightening effect. So I am actually going to use that under my eye. And then I'm gonna bake with um, the banana shade um, from Fenty Beauty for the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna press it right into her powder. And I'm gonna place it right under my eye. This is actually really great too if you're gonna go in, you know, and you're gonna be doing your eyes. It gives kind of a barrier if you do have any fallout with shadow that you can literally just then take this powder and brush it off when you're all done and it's going to take all that excess and just kind of brush it away with it. So that's a really good trick as well if you're wanting just to make that easier on yourself when you're doing your skin first. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder and I'm going to use that for the rest of my face. So I'm going to use the flat side of my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to cut right along here. Perfect. I always like extra kind of along my nose because 
I feel like that's where my foundation is going to be more apt to break up quicker whether I'm itching my nose or whatever so I just kind of wrap it right under my nostrils I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna just kind of stamp right down the center of my nose a little bit and then I also have these smile lines I always like to bake a little bit right there just to prevent my foundations from creasing. So this is what I'm gonna look like while I'm doing the rest of my face. Okay, my eyes. What do I wanna do? I'm actually gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe, her original palette. And I'm gonna be using also some of her brushes along with some other ones. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill JH34. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm going to be going in with I think this shade right here I'm going to use for my transition and then I'm going to start working this right into my crease I really want to define my whole eye Beautiful. And then now all the product's pretty much off. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of lightly buff that edge a little bit. So once you've deposited the majority of your color where you want it, then you can take your brush because there's nothing on it and that's where you can go in and really blend out those edges and diffuse them. Okay, so we're gonna do that same thing on this eye. Awesome, okay. Now I think I'm gonna come in with this shade right here and I'm gonna go right under my transition deeper into my crease just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm gonna use the M433 from Morphe. Tap it off. I'm gonna close my eye. Let me get this guy. I'm gonna come right up in here and I'm gonna kinda just lay it down by more padding pressing motions and then I'm gonna start windshield wiping it into that crease to blend so now that that color's in there see how it just made more depth to that crease now i'm going to turn the brush now that all my color is pretty much off i'm going to turn it and instead of having it pressed down flat this way i'm going to turn it this way and i'm going to put it right up in my crease and let the wideness of the brush blend the two colors together just so that you don't have a harsh line in there beautiful and same thing on the other eye. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna get darker. I think I'm gonna do darker on both inner and outer corners and then have a pop of lightness in the center of my lid. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use this one right next to the last one I used, which is kind of a real pretty, almost Merlot color. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna get my corners with it. So this is where I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna get a smaller brush because I wanna have a little bit more precise application. So I'm gonna use the Morphe M421 brush. Okay, so you can see I left kind of the center points of my eyelids void of any color. So I wanna keep those brighter for a reason. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my um, M433 I was using earlier and I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna work those shades a little bit and make sure that they're blended so that there's no harsh line. So now for my lid where it's still light, I think I'm gonna come in with this kind of real pretty, almost like pewter gold tone and I'm gonna use my fingertips like look at that oh look at I'm so excited okay so I'm gonna come in and I'm going to just press that right into the center point of my lid Ooh. so now that I have that I'm just gonna take my brush that I was using earlier and I just kind of want to go right along the edges make sure that that's 
blended so that it's kind of a nice fade right into where that brightness is with that gold I don't know why I didn't do my brows first I always do and I think I was just so excited to jump into makeup I wasn't even thinking so I feel like I look really weird right now without my brows done and I'm doing my eyes but that's okay no rules with makeup I am going to come in and I'm going to use the JH38 from Jaclyn Hill set and I'm going to come in with this shade right here and I'm going to put a little bit under my brow bone and in my inner corners. Yeah, I didn't even realize I didn't do my brows yet until I went in to do my under eyebrow highlight and then I'm like, wait a second, something looks off here. All right, I'm going to pop some of that right in here. Okay, I'm going to brush off my bake now. Okay, so I'm just taking a clean powder brush. Perfect. All right. That really did braid my under eye nice. Look at how nice that is. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows before I go any further with my eye because it's tripping me out that I don't have my brows on yet. So this is the BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio, and this is their medium kit. I love this stuff. I think it works fabulous. So I'm going to take the one end with the pomade. I'm going to come right on in here and give this brow a little color and a little stick. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the powder. Get the shape of this baby brought to life. I think that looks good. Spoolie. Time for a little liner. And I'm actually gonna use the black shadow, the M443 from Morphe, and do a wing with shadow and this brush. So straight ahead. I want to line up with my lower lash line and see where my crease is. I'm going to close. Beautiful. This brush is working really, really great. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so let me get close. So I just did a wing with shadow. Okay, so I want to smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. Coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. This is from BH, it's the 105 brush. I don't, I think it came in a set. I don't remember which one, but it's just a nice little pencil detail brush and i'm going to go in um, these two shades i had in my kind of crease area i'm just going to kind of mix them a little bit and i'm going to come right under my eye now i'm going to come in with that darker shade that real pretty merlot wine color and i'm going to kind of come right a little bit closer into my lash line and then last but not least, I'm gonna take that black, I'm gonna use that same liner brush I used earlier. I'm just gonna get right up in my lash line. I'm actually gonna bring it a little bit into my waterline too. Kinda gonna up the drama, okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna put on a set of falsies um, after I put on a little mascara and I will be right back and we'll finish my makeup, okay? Okay guys, falsies are on with my mascara. So that just brought my whole eye together. So now um, to finish my skin, I'm gonna use the Master Chrome by Maybelline's Highlighter. This is 250 for the shade. And I'm just gonna get my highlighting brush in there. Ooh, 
I just got this highlighter at uh, Ulta when I was there this week. I've been wanting to try this highlighter for a while. And I'm liking. Oh, that looks so, that looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bring some down the center of my nose. Yes, dust my lip. Okay, so I want a little depth on the outer edges of my lips. So for lip liner, I'm going to be using um, Milani's lip liner in the shade Ginger Ale, which I think will look really pretty with kind of my, um, you know, cranberry, warm, shimmery eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. So I left that inner portion of my lip without anything on it. I kind of want to do an ombre effect. So I left the inner part of my lip naked, okay. And I'm going to be going in, this is Tartiest Lip Paint by Tarte. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I wanna apply this all over over the liner. And then I think for the gloss aspect, because I do want a little gloss, I'm gonna come in with my Lip Sense gloss that I love in Sand Gloss and just moisturize my lips a tinge. And then when I have highlighter on too, I've been really liking kind of taking my beauty blender I used at the beginning for all my skin and I kind of just press my highlight into the skin a little bit and it really just kind of it looks a little more soft and natural that way so I really like to do that okay so I'm gonna take you know what I actually got I'm gonna try this one I got a new setting spray that smelled really good um, it's a very light scent I don't like anything too scented but it's oil-free matte mist which I love being matte it's from Pacifica, and I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this. And then I'm going to get my fan. Well, you guys, I'm really digging. I'm really digging my date night makeup. Okay, I'm going to freshen up my hair and put my date night outfit on, and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I'm changed. Hair's ready. Jewelry's on. I am full on ready for date night. I had such a great time getting ready for this date with all of you. I hope that you guys enjoyed putting this look together with me. I know that I had a really great time. I had a bunch of fun with this look. I'm just super excited um, to go out on a date now. I just feel glammed and beautiful and so anyways i hope that you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also make sure that you ring the bell so that you don't miss any notifications when i upload a new video thanks so much you guys have a great friday night and a great weekend and i'll see you all later Mwah.